Hey YouTube, uh, here's a little update. Um, kind of did a cleanup. A lot of the stuff's been moved around. Um, a lot of the servers are in a real data center, not my little home little project. So um, this is for you guys to see and uh, get the latest uh, update of where the GNET data center project is. Um, we have our 3750G switch here, pretty much almost fully populated. Got to set up some VLANs and stuff like that, get it all configured. Got my edge router. The uptime on this has been already almost, I think, four months with no reboot. I think I almost did almost a terabyte of bandwidth. Since now I host less things here, so I don't have to worry about too much uh, bandwidth. I still have my business class internet. Um, kind of redid stuff around. We have our R720. It has uh, eight two terabyte drives. You can ignore the three terabytes on there because I put I bought the server used from a previous person from Craigslist. It has 96 gigs of RAM and all that, and two E5 Intel. Uh, I don't know what the CPUs are not loaded yet. And uh, for less than 500 bucks, so it's cheaper than eBay prices. So and there's that. My R810 which is one of my those uh, hypervisor servers it's uh, off since it is not as efficient to run this one this one only is 170 watts to run almost with 22 VMs all on this one is 320 watts idle so I'm like I keep this one just for testing purposes only it has all SSD so even with SSDs it's 300 and some watts still so here is a uh, just a hard drive and uh, if you guys are interested, I'm selling the Switch 2960G. I mean, it's a little dusty, but the condition of it is nearly brand new. So it's a genuine Switch. If you guys are willing to want it, to get it from me, uh, I'd say um, U.S. purchase only, uh, all 50 states. I would say 150 uh, shipped. And uh, here is some uh, battery backups. So we got almost 40 minutes uptime for the server. And almost 35 minutes up for the switches so this includes my phone system that I have VoIP with UMA which is this cable right there goes into that box right there um, give you guys a little rundown since everyone's been asking where's what plugged into so this is the uplink coming from a virtualized PFSense box that is on here um, this is my WAN coming in from the Comcast modem right there. And this is my DMZ portion. I did have a uh, physical box for PFSense, but since I have all these servers, I can virtualize a lot of things. So I have a Sophos. If anyone wants it, this is still brand new as all the packaging. Um, $200 shipped. It's a SG220. You nearly can't find them anymore. So you guys to see on the back of the rack so we got hydrac 7 we got serial to my 3750 G switch and there's the back of the edge router uh, patch panel some uh, sticky tapes falling off or something but here we got this dedicated nick just for that PFSense box, which is WAN, LAN, DMZ. Um, here we have two 1100 power supplies. I could put a GPU in a server for one or two, but the GPUs are outrageously expensive for being old. Almost $1,000 for a grid GPU. So that's not practical right now. Um, there's the back of the power supplies, PDUs overall, and uh, this is Comcast modem. Dedicated. Uh, bandwidth from uh, business class so if you guys are interested in a server which the shipping this is gonna be very expensive but $500 if anyone's local to Colorado this is where I am $500 it has uh, 36 bays it has uh, 64 or 32 gigs of RAM can't remember which one and it's AMD Optron so but yeah 
Oh, and here are the CPUs. E5 2640, 2.5 gigahertz. I might think about upgrading these and adding more RAM, so we'll see. But um, yeah, other than that, stay tuned for more updates, and thanks for watching.